So let's look at the RCD test functions. You can see you can select straightforward times half, times one and times five trip currents. And by pressing the function key on the front, you can select whether or not you're going to test at zero or 180 degrees. So either the rising or falling side of the waveform. Pressing and holding the function key will allow you to cycle through the different types of RCD, type A, type AC, or selective, or a variance of any of these. Finally, a B-type breaker can be selected. Here, we also have the auto test facility, where you can dial up the rated value of the RCD, start the auto test, and the unit will run through the whole sequence. And then we have the ramp test. This is particularly useful when fault finding because it will prove at exactly what leakage current an RCD will operate or trip. There is also a variable RCD test, which we will look at later. So let's look at the auto test sequence for a 30 milliamp RCD. Pressing the test button, the first test makes sure the RCD doesn't operate with the times half test or half the tripping current. Next, it completes a times one test at zero degrees. We reset the RCD and it will repeat the times one test at 180 degrees. Reset again and it ups to five times the rated tripping current at zero and finally five times at 180. You'll see the display shows end and then using the function key, you can cycle back through and look at the results. The no trip half test, the times one at zero and 180, and then the times five at zero and 180. With the ramp test, again with a standard 30 milliamp RCD, when you initiate the test, the current is ramped up slowly, indicating exactly at what value the RCD operates. You can see here that the RCD tripped at 23 milliamps. The variable RCD test allows you to dial up a non-standard or programmable RCD test current. For example, to test an 80 milliamp RCD, you press the function button to activate the selectable RCD feature, and by pressing the up and down arrows, you can adjust the value to match the RCD to be tested. Press the test button and do a times one test and you can see here the reading is 40.6 milliseconds.